Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today I want to show you why I love the Houdini Blender workflow because it allows you to do things that are basically impossible without an application like Houdini. It's one of the most powerful setup and the easiest to use. Let me show you why. So I have this snow plow just plowing snow just like this something like this is basically impossible to do uh even when you have add-ons there are very few add-ons that can pull something like this off but uh, in houdini i've just created a simple uh generator here and uh, at first it seems like quite a lot but uh, uh let me just show you quickly by the way this entire simulation is a new section that i teach step by step in my houdini for every artist course and uh, you can check it out if you want but uh, let me just break it down for you so it looks overwhelming in the beginning but it's actually quite simple here i'm just creating a plow in a procedural way so this is my plow that is going to go through the snow and uh, all it is is a circle or an arc uh, that is extruded and then extruded on the other side uh, then just centered within the axis and then uh, basically edited to be a bit sharp here and uh, I rotated a bit because I want to use a mirror node here. This is basically a mirror modifier. So if I rotate, say, uh, let me just select this. If I rotate this, you can see it basically works like the mirror modifier in Blender. And uh, uh, I set up a, a curve here so that I can unmint the plow procedurally. Uh, so here I'm just editing the curve, uh, resampling it, and uh, just um, I'm instancing this plow onto the curve under the curve and mates. basically what i'm doing is just setting up a trim a trim animation similar to the trim curve in geometry nodes and i'm just extracting the last point and instancing uh, this curve onto it i just need to make sure that i'm extracting the last point and then instancing the this this plow onto that point and uh, this becomes our animated plow just like that and uh, so this seems complicated, but uh, the entire simulation ends about here. And in fact, some of these are just attributes to make the, the simulation look like sand and more complicated. But uh, I can even just duplicate only this piece and basically start a new process uh, where I have just the particles and uh, then do a vellum solver, which is basically the brains of the simulation and uh, what handles everything in, in the simulation and uh, I can connect all of these things to this and just add a ground and I bring in bring in my animated plow connect it as the collider geometry so these are my grains this is my animation so if I take a look at this you can see how the plow is already working with just one two three four nodes and uh, basically uh, most of this is just setting up how the the shape of the snow so this is a grid that i extrude and then add a mountain node basically i displace it uh, because i want the the snow to be in this shape uh scale it up and then create the particles that make up the snow so this is basically the simulation uh, everything else this is just setting up the geometry uh, this is the collider I, I'm, I'm showing this just to show you how easy Houdini is uh, this is just the collider this is the collider animated all of these nodes and the brain of the simulation is here I create the shape that that is going to become our snow transform it into particles so that we can run the snow simulation and uh, the settings here are just simple uh, this first one is just to turn the mesh into particles uh, this just determines the resolution so if i want more detail i can just use a smaller particle size like 0 0.5 and you can see now we have a more detailed uh, this will take a little bit more time to simulate uh, i'm just going to bring it back to 0.1 all the other settings are just tweaking the the simulation a little bit for example let's say this jitter scale if you don't have it on the particles are scattered in a grid order if you turn it on it just makes things look more organic and uh, pack density also does the same but uh, adds more introduces a little bit more randomization but uh, i usually set that to one because 
the jitter scale is enough and the physics attribute just set the mass uh, the friction and uh, attraction between the particles uh, for example right now if i stimulate but uh, right now you can see that everything is working except that uh, this is behaving more like sand instead of snow so then what i would do is uh, go to the grain generator of this node here that generates the grain and uh, increase say the attraction attraction weight to one and simulate okay that you can see how that looks and uh, i can even mesh this using just look at that so with just a few things we have talked about we already at a stage where we have something that looks like what we have in the simulation and then this is what you export into blender uh, though mine i did spend a little bit more time on mine added a little bit more detail so if you want to learn something like this you can check out my houdini course uh, houdini is going to become part of my workflow quite a lot because i think it's one of the most powerful 3d tool out there and the great thing is that it's very much compatible with blender or within the blender workflow so if you're using blender Houdini is just an additional tool uh, you could use uh, to make Blender even more powerful. Uh, if you already have Houdini, I'm going to have this project file available on my Patreon and my Gumroad page in case you want to have a procedural snow plow generator. I mentioned so, for example, it's quite procedural. I can come in here and edit my curves so I can uh, look at my curves here. Let me resample it so that this is more of a straight line so now the animation has changed to just go in that direction like that so this also means that our vlam simulation has changed so if i come back here it's a quick way to create your own generators imagine if you needed this for a project uh, you would just jump in and uh, anyway that's it if you want to check out the project file or if you want to check out the course, all links are in the description.